Star Wars. Such words have never been uttered by those that do not know about the power of the Force. That may sound funny, but really, there are still people I know that haven't seen Star Wars. Trust me, I've tried to get them to watch it. They're not. Today, we're going to do something that is kind of interesting. We're going to bolster our Star Wars Limited Collection so that we can build a construct a deck for fun because i would like to at least play this game in casual passing so we're going to open this booster box of star wars unlimited which is 24 booster packs of 16 cards a piece so there's going to be some interesting stuff we're going to kind of get an idea or a feel for how this game looks and feels let's jump right in you know, honest to God, it feels like just yesterday that I was at my LGS buying things like this. The Star Wars customizable card game from Decipher. SWCCG is the acronym. And the cards, the feelings, the nostalgia that this brings, it's just breathtaking when I go back and I look at how these cards are. And some of the striking similarities that exist between the beauty that was dark and light side cards where you can see here and the different characters and worlds that existed now obviously these games are completely different now that i've kind of gotten to experience them but the the art style and direction of swccg felt different or feels different than the art style and direction of star wars unlimited taking a lot more you know cues from actual movie scenes and having quotes and a very complex gameplay because well even in the starter decks back in the day you not only had a little rule book you had a glossary that was 144 pages long this game was not for the faint of heart and i grew up with this game this was kind of either between and or before when i started playing magic the gathering but Needless to say, there's been many Star Wars games that have come out over the time. From Young Jedi to different various... I have most of them somewhere. There's so many different Star Wars games. I'm curious to see how this one stays long term. Because Fantasy Flight um, has a little bit of ground to regain with me as a customer. As I'm sure others. Based on kind of some prior track records but i'm not mad at them it's just i'm going in with the expectation that this literally could be gone tomorrow uh because it seems like with anything that touches the star wars ip licensing drives everything and well if somebody says your licensing cost has tripled overnight or sells it to another person the person that has the ip today can't continue to make the game so there's always going to be that risk and sadly that's what happened to, i believe decipher back in the day i think wizards got it which is how we got God, well, I'm going to look up some of these games real quick. List. All right, I found a little bit of a better resource for this. So uh, looking at uh, Board Game Stock Exchange, it looks like on BGG or Board Game Geek, there have been a total of about nine, making this the ninth iteration of Star Wars collectible games, starting with Star Wars, the customizable card game, which is what I fell in love with in 1995 by Decipher. Star Wars Jedi Knights CCG, which was 2001, also by Decipher. A board game, Star Wars trading card game from 2002 to 2005, which was a Watsy game. It had cards. It was like Attack on Clones, Empire Strikes Back, Revenge of the Sith. I think I remember that one a little bit. There was the Pocket Models, which was kind of like the Pirate's Ship version. So it was like pop-out cards. That was in 2007 by Tops and WizKids. You had Star Wars Force Attacks, which was in 2010's a Tops card game. Star Wars... The card game in 2012 by FFG. Star Wars Destiny in 2012 by FFG. Uh, Something Wild, the Star Wars 20 to 21 Funko miniature and card game. It's not really CCG. I opened some of those earlier. I found them at a, a Target or Meyer the other day. And then now we have the Star Wars Unlimited uh, card game. So that's just a couple of little bits there. And um, it looks like we also missed Young Jedi... Uh, which was a collectible game in 1999 by Decipher. And then there is a print-and-play 
uh, called Stolen Plans, the card game. It was from 2006. Uh, and then there's not a source for this one, but Star Wars with Decipher. Uh, so Star Wars was owned, the license, the IP was owned by Decipher from 1995 to 2002. And then Watsy from 2002 to 2007. Tops from 2007 to 2012. And then since 2012, FFG has owned that license. So for over 10 years, Fantasy Flight has owned that license. Now, once I looked a little bit deeper into the licensing, the Star Wars Stolen Plan card game looked like it was kind of like a print and play, very basic, not what I would expect out of a TCG style of game. So I don't really think I count that. And uh, with that said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I don't know if you got to watch my other video about the starter deck review or the uh, pre-constructed deck, but these packs are paper. Uh, it's awesome. I really enjoy that that they have jumped on this bandwagon. You know, again, back in the day, the, the plastic packs, uh, that's where the, the, the industry has been for a very long time. And now with you know, the advent of, of paper packs changing. Flesh and Blood started a little bit of that trend. Uh, Magic at one point did it, I think, for one set back in the day. But really, the push for greener, cleaner, you know, these paper packs are excellent for the environment. So the makeup of these packs, you're going to get one hero and one leader. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I should specify here. It's one leader and then one base token. So in this case, you get this as your leader. So we got Sharut. Iwami, and we got a Catacombs of Caldera. So you get one site and, or one base and one leader per pack. So by the end of this, you have 24 uh, of each. And then you're going to have a mix of commons. Uh, looks like you're going to have nine commons, three uncommons, one rare or legendary, and one premium foil. So we're going to kind of just go through some of these as we talk about it. Uh, I'm going to take this from the aspect of a player that used to be a Decipher main back in the day. Or even Young Jedi. Or, you know, there was a Star Wars game that had the, the dice. And I, I think that one was the one that was owned by Watsi. Because the Star Wars, like, Attack of the Young Jedi or whatever. Just, there's, I've played every single one of these that I can get my hands on. And each of them are unique. Like, there's, there's different aspects to every game. What makes the the Unlimited game a little bit more interesting or different is it does take some aspects where you have a space and a ground as well as you don't really have location on moving back and forth, but at least in the first iteration of the set, there's the design components laid out to where you could have multiple locations uh, or, you know, in this case, because you have the two areas, you might have something that says this space ion cannon that's in ground could shoot across over to the, the space unit or whatever. Uh, I just noticed that the map in front of me, ground units is on the left and space is on the right. I did ground on the right, space on the left, but whatever. Uh, then inside of each pack, you're going to get these things such as this, which are hyperspace cards. So this is a borderless variation of the card, uh, which is kind of neat. Now, if this is random, you don't know which ones you're going to get. Uh, but, you know, like I said, the, the artwork here, not my personal flavor cup of tea of artwork, but uh, it's growing on me. Oh, Chimera, look at that. I got a, got a capital ship. A beautiful, beautiful capital ship. And we got a regional sympathizer. Did you want to hang out and watch? He's coming in. Nope. Blowing you a kiss. Yeah. Yep. Hmm? What was that? One of the perfumes? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll certainly yell really loud if we get something cool so you okay. can hear, okay? okay? Excellent. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uncommons, commons. I'm gonna stick rares in another pile, foils in another pile, which I think you'll kind of maybe see a little bit of the foil piece, and then I'm gonna put any alternate arts and stuff over there, so that at the end we can do a quick count. So now that you got kind of a lay of the land, let's talk about some of these cards. Sabine, there we go. This is definitely. Definitely interesting. I can see that maybe in the future there's going to need to be... Um, I, I don't think any of these touch like the first couple of episodes. There you go. There's a uh, extended. I don't think these touch episode one through... Uh, one through three. And I'm not really certain I'm seeing stuff... Well, I guess technically I might be seeing stuff from seven through nine, kind of. 
But I, it looks like maybe they might have touched on some things. That <laughs> Han and Carbonite, baby. Han and Carbonite! Ooh, that's like a gold card. I mean, it's not, like, actually gold, but it looks gold. You're no good to me, sir! You're no good. No good dead. The gameplay has been fun. The multiple games I have played so far, super exciting. You got a Boba Fett. Boom, Boba! Boba, Boba Administration Tower. I can definitely see that, you know, in a box you're going to have enough cards to really, hopefully, mix it up. I mean, if you got 24, I mean, there can't be that many variety of the leaders. So, Yoda. We call those mains back in when I would play. Oh, that's cute. That's nice. You get mains. You got your main. Did you hit a main? Nope, didn't hit a main. Just kidding. You know, I don't know what to talk about. I, there's so much to talk about. I don't know. That's that's the problem. There's so much to talk about. I don't know what to talk about. Jet Urso. Cloud City again. What do we got? Steadfast Battalion. Now, if you if you go like this, I wonder if that's going to tell you if you got like a, a full art. But you can kind of see it if you, you dig in. Cargo. So there's different aspects, different colors here. So it looks like they've kind of kept it uh, to uh, a semi reduced Reduced amount, like let's call it six to ten. This card is freaking fun. Uh, I had that. It's a lot to get out, but if you already have seven or eight resources, this becomes a it, it just grows. Uh, there you go, Count Dooku. Oh man, see these these gold ones, man. They just they pop. That is that's a popper, pop card. Dooku. Uh, diamond means it is a unique character, so you can only have one on the field at a time. Um, I think you can have more than that in the deck. It's just you can't have more than one in play because you can't have two Vaders or two Dukus. That wouldn't make any sense, right? You can't have duplicates of each other. Oh, we got a hyperspacey style hero leader. I'm going to call it Heroes for Forever. So that's Sabine Wren, which I guess I'll put in the hyperspace pile just for sake of argument. So there are, I believe... Five aspects? Six aspects. There's... Where's my rule book? I put it behind me! I think I'd have this memorized by now. I don't. I just want to show you the world. All of the stuff. Yeah, there's vigilance, aggression, command cunning, heroism, and villainy. So... Right now, technically six, and then you have generics, and then you have ones that have multiple classes within it. So I could foresee them easily being able to, in the future, add. So that's a that's a bonus, right? We can see that they could expand upon this by simply adding another aspect and then creating a whole hero based on a different aspect or a different archetype based on, on those. So that's... Definitely a feather in the basket as far as, you know, flexibility is concerned. Because that would be something to, um, to wonder how they're going to expand, right? What do we get? Director Krennic. He's number one. Somebody made a joke that, you know, Director Krennic had to be number one because he's such a, a pansy or whatever. He just always wants to. He's aspiring to be number one. And he apparently became number one by being the first person, first numbered card in the set. So... All right, Death Star Trooper, Tratomy, ooh, Tie Fighter, pew, pew, pew. maximum firepower. Surprise! Ooh, we got a Siege Tank. That's another one of those. Smuggled compartment. Sabine Wren, Seventh Sister, and a Battlefield. Yeah, I mean, pretty much all these are popping pretty nice. It's uh, it's hard to really say. And maybe that could be why some of these, uh, the game store had a binder of singles. Some of these cards were pretty stupid expensive, and I don't quite know why they were stupid expensive, because the game just dropped, so probably it's that day one hype. So like, here's an example. I can see that we're going to have two extended cards in this one. I don't quite know what they're going to be, but um, they look further back in the pack, so I'm going to assume that they're going to be uncommons or maybe a rare. That'd be neat. 
So we're in the common territory. What did we get? Ooh, we got a snow speeder, baby. Love snow speeders. Uncommons. This is an uncommon. AT, AT suppressor. It's telling me do a hoth deck. Do a hoth deck, Jacob. Death trooper. That's what it's telling me. It says you do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Um, I might have mentioned this in another video, but just to reiterate it here, I did actually take this. Oh man, is that a duplicate? That's kind of that's kind of sad. Uh, I mean, it's it's expected to get duplicate heroes, but that's like a duplicate extended art hero, which I was hoping maybe to have multiple ones as an example, but whatever. Uh, I traded some Star War or Star. Blah, 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 blah. I traded some sealed Magic the Gathering that I had that was just some old stuff that I didn't really care to play with, like Strixhaven and I think uh, Baldur's Gate uh, regular. They were like draft boxes. Things that I had already opened so much of that I just, I had for later that I think I would get much more joy out of this. So I kind of uh, converted that over to to here. Two tubes. Regional. Oh, ooh, look at that. That's an extended Yoda. That's cool. Yodi! Oh, that's so that'd be the first foil uh, extended we have, I guess. Yeah. So there's going to be like four variations of each card. I guess there's going to be a non-foil, a uh, foil, um, a showcase, and a foil showcase. So there's there's a lot of hunting to do. Got another critic here. There's a showcase city as an example. So... There is definitely, you know, a myriad of showcase cards available in this, which means it does really lean into the T C, the C collectible trading card game, the collectible aspect. Redemption, baby. Capital ships. Uh, I love ooh, what is this? Force throw. That's cool. That's a pretty sweet piece of artwork. So like I said, it's not all artwork that I'm opposed to in this. I mean, there's definitely some ones that I'm just kind of like, yeah, that ain't for me. But, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. It just means that I'm not that into certain art styles. Mr. Chupaco. Here we go. This is an administration tower. It's a full... Have we hit any of the ones that are a, a special ability? So these are, these are all 30s. We have not hit a special ability one. We have not. No special ability. Gladiator, Vanquish. Vanquish was fun. I, I'm, I'm starting to like the whole flipping the, the top and bottom when it comes to be like a unit versus an upgrade card. So like having a text box kind of helps identify. Veers, baby. Need a full art foil of Veers. Ooh, who's this? Broody Rook. So there were two rares in this one. Okay. That's neat. Then we got Admiral Akbar. Ooh, and we got a Mace Windu. That's cool. Oh, it's a legendary. Look. Oh, it's a foil legendary. Holy moly. That's nifty. Uh, probably should put that in the sleeve. Probably. I don't know. Maybe. Somebody's going to want it. I'd hate to be the person that's like, well, maybe I can trade this boy off and get me like uh, another box. I don't know. That'd be kind of silly, but that's only, that's the first L in the box. So I uh, do not know the current rarity ratings. Uh, as far as the hits per box, that that's you know this is just one example. Right? This is one box, so um, hard to to give a, a number, a definitive number based on that. But we're gonna give you some ooh Dagobah. Look at that Dagobah! All right, so we got forces, fleet lieutenant, mission briefing. Starting to see some cards I haven't seen before. Rugged survivors, asteroid, waylay. Maximum firepower. Greedo. Bright Hope. Good name of a ship. Wolfie. And Confiscate. Definitely some nostalgia factor in these. But there's also some characters in here that I wouldn't have suspected to have seen. Hey, another Leia. Look at that. Duplication. Command Center. Man, those sights are rare. Okay, so... Um, Gorilla, Attack Pod, Patrol Wing, Vanquish, Occupy, Volunteer Soldier, Asteroid Sanctuary, Droid, Ooh, Rogue Squadron, Skirmisher, that looks cool, Force Choke, 
Oh hey, Darth Vader. There we go. That's oh hey, this is an ex this is the uh, it's the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the meow 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 whoop extended. This is the hyperspace. Heck yeah, Vader, baby. Gonna run him in my Vader deck. He's Mr. Vader man. We got uh, Empire's Royal Guard. I actually didn't know that was in here. This sorry Vader, you're gonna get set aside as I read this. Emperor's Royal Guard. While you control an official unit, this unit gains Sentinel. If you control Emperor Palpatine as a leader, this unit gets plus zero, plus one. Wow. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. I'm going to have to get me some more of those. I didn't know there was Imperial Guards in this set. And back to the probably coolest card we got, the Vader. And look at that. Be neat if he was foil. Could you imagine if it was a foil? Like, holy moly, that would be a... That would be a, a thing to write home about, I guess. That would be a, a thing. What is... Wow. So the foil version of the Vader is about 150 to 170 on today's market. And this Vader is apparently 70. That's pretty crazy. Mace Windu is a legendary who's worth about $10. So... Take those prices and do with me as you will. Ooh, Grandma Tarkin. Catacombs. All right, what do we got? Lots and lots of cards. Enough to definitely make something with. I, I am curious in the long run how many cards you'd really need. Heroic Sacrifice. Ooh, Admiral Akbar. To, to build a, you know, like if a deck's going to be mostly commons rares uncommons i'm sure you can have like a commoner format right like that'll be kind of interesting um, obviously with this being the first set people are going to open a lot of it grand inquisitor that's a new one i haven't seen that's pretty cool so there's some variety in the uh the hero slots okay we got precision fire resupply academy defense disabled true strike surgical droid no trooper 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 Yoda again outmaneuver that's cool general tag ooh fallen lightsaber yeah that's cool and we got a tie fighter foil now that's oh that's a hyperspace one that's a hyper it's a hyper hyper did I do that earlier I don't think I I don't think I did all right yeah that's that's neat so packs are kind of exciting to open right like you're you're getting a little variety. It could be a lot, a little. Um, you got a Han Solo. Got a Swamp. Still haven't seen any of the, the rare uh, bases yet. There may not be that many of them. Which, I mean, for set one, I don't know how many that, that means. but Hard points. Yeah, there you go. That's cool. I like that. Ooh, Force. Luke Skywalker. Oh, he's legendary too. Look at that. Now, is this the same Luke as in the starter set? That's a good question. That's a good question. Where would that have gone? Where did I put the starter box? Okay, so that Luke, that's a leader. Four, seven, six, seven. No, it's a different, um, same with the Vader. Five, eight, five, seven. So they're different. They are not the same as the starter. If you are curious, the Luke is not the same as the starter. Okay. Three U's, lots of C's. All right, Luke. What you do, you are a Jedi Knight. When played in an enemy unit, negative three, negative three for the phase. If the friendly unit was defeated this phase, give it minus six, minus six. So, uh, you know, maybe it, it kills it. I don't know if, it, if you get negative six, does it, like, die? That might be, might be a thing. Uh, one thing that was interesting is Destiny had, like, a defined 
hit rate, like you'd get six of the like higher tiers and like a box. It was like a guaranteed, kind of like a preceded ratio. I don't think or believe that that might be the case with this, but we'll have to find out. I mean, it'd be neat to, to kind of get that information. Chopper. Chopper's cool. And a foil Yoda. Chopper! Get in the chopper! Get in the chopper! Getting down to the wire. Just kidding. We got probably more than a half a box left. Gian Earth, though. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Another Hoth base. Echo base. I'm going to have to... I'm going to be kind of fun. Collect all the uh, the bases. So, all right. Wilderness. Squad. Mercenary. Restored. Infiltrator. ISB agent. Brilliant frigate. Show me the home one, baby! Home one, Tower of the Dark Side. Ooh, I had no choice. Choose up to two leader cards. Opponent controls, okay. Ooh, Asteroid Sanctuary. That's the foil. I had no choice, good sir, ma'am, person, dude. Um, how can I get backwards here? Do 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 All right. Oh man, look! I can already see the very first one's a hyperspace gen or so. Nifty. All right. Spoiling it all for everybody. Precision. Do 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 do. I think the last one's like a space something. Admiral. Freedom Fighters. It's a Space Consortium Viper. Space balls! Look out! This is baseballs. Oh, that's a, that's a... I should do a quick regurgitation and see if any of these... Because they, they wouldn't have black borders if they have a special... Side. They do make it easy to find. Um, and then these are all currently foils. And these are different. And so we've gotten three uh, hyperspace foils, I think is the term. Oh, I need to put that over with this. But yeah, I haven't seen a single rare one of these. Do we have any rare ones of these? We got, oh, we got two. Uh, Kernick. So we got three rares. That's it. Wow. Not a lot of rares. Inquisitor, Han, and Sharut. Inquisitor, Han, Sharut. Han, Sharut. Ig 88. Oh, we got a Cloud City. Look at that. Capital City. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, not Cloud City. Got it. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Wilderness Fighter. Mm -hmm. Cell Guard Block ISB. Wow, what is... That card has some crap all up in it. It's already damaged. Interesting. Devotion. Armor plating. Rook Nook and Admiral Ozzel. So, yeah. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. We are, I believe, this is pack 20. I think we're down to the last four. And we have an IG-88. I shouldn't be surprised that I'm getting duplicate heroes. I'd like to see some of the newer heroes, or different heroes, but maybe that's where trading comes in. Bid Fortana, Mount Mantha, Bindu, and whatever Keep Fighting is. Keep Fighting. Keep on fighting! That pack didn't seem to have a lot in it. Alright. Last four. Are they... There's two Chewies and two... Throms, maybe? Is that what he is? He's a Grand Admiral. Is he a Vice Admiral? Grand Admiral? He's a Big Admiral? Got a Boba the Fett. Boba Fett. 
Bo Boba Fett, Boba Fett, Bo 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 Boba Fett, Boba Fett. Uh uh. There's definitely probably a scenario where you're gonna have to get more than one or two boxes to make a place out of some stuff. There's Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, it does look like you know maybe your commons. This is a pretty big set, 250 two cards so you might be i mean the play sets here there are three of instead of four of so i mean that's unique uh, another boba fett um, underworld thugs Ooh, that's a hyperspace of some sort admiral Azu. Ooh, vanguard that's one. Oh, look at that force lightning Oh, that's a legendary. Oh, that's cool. What is that? So, it says, create a unit, it loses, choose a unit, it loses all abilities for this phase, and if you control a force unit, pay a number of resources, deal two damage. That's, that's pretty insane. Definitely an emperor style move there. 100%. 100% an emperor. All right. Last two packs currently. We got, oh, we got the Emperor, look at that, Emperor Palpatine, who can play the Force Lightning. Baby, got a Emperor Palpatine. Oh, I didn't even put these away last time, that's silly of me, sorry. Sorry. Alright, we got Legion Snow Trooper, Consortium, Death Trooper, Katina, X-Wing, can't wait till we get a bunch of new ones. What is that? Power failure. Maybe it's just more unique because I'm seeing... That's kind of interesting. All right. Uh, looks like we did hit another legendary. It's called Command. It is Initiate. Gain... Choose two in any order. Gain two experience tokens. Add a friendly... I wonder if this is tied in any way, shape, or form to light or dark side, or if it's just uh, it works, because that could be um, that could be interesting. All right, last pack. I might try to do this one backwards. You want to do it backwards? No, let's do it from the front. Ooh, we got Tarkin. Talking, go ahead and off talking, and we got. A 30. We, did we not hit a single... Uh, we didn't get a single darn... Dang it. I wanted to see one of these ones that had a special ability on it. Oh, well. Alright, last pack. We'll have to find one of those in another pack or box or something. Alright. Ooh, Wilderness Fighter. Definitely got some fun. And we got Initiate is that an extended that seems like that is not an extended i don't know what that'd be that's a rare did i get another initiate to compare this to probably not no no okay all right well let's go ahead and do some basic stuff we have one two three three legendaries four five legendaries now commons rares commons okay so we got four rare uh heroes and then we got 24 well i guess it's not a true true statement we got three foil hyperspace cards we got a myriad of that's uncommon, common, common, common. Oh, let's look for like leaders and hey, let's let's do that. So leader, leader and base, leader, leader and base. Okay. So there are a decent chunk of leader and bases. Okay. So we got an Ig eighty eight. Two Sabine Wrens and a Jen Urso, all extended art or hyperspaced. Um, 
we got two uncommons. We got a Vanguard Ace and a Power Failure. And then we got a total of four of the uh, various, and they all seem to have that backing. I don't know, and that was something else I was looking at, is supposedly, I'm just going to pick on one particular one here. Somebody pointed out that these had, yeah, so there's like technically two different ones. Even though they're the same back, they're... They're O20s, but on this side, they're Token 1 and Token 2. So, like, that city has one, if you were to look at that. So we've already done that. Like, let's look at this one here. Did we get three? So of these three, see, there's one of each. And then let's look at the Echo Base. Echo Base. One of each. <clears throat> um this one one of each so they're different um maybe that's important maybe it's not maybe it's just a cool collectible thing but those being different probably makes a difference to somebody so those are different all right now let's look at these did we manage to get a, a complete a play set there's a there's that and then there's that so if this is all of the ones right we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen but this is the token versions of each each side. So just a little bit of weirdness or interesting bits of information that you might want to be aware of if you're looking for it. Maybe, maybe it means nothing to anybody and maybe it's just something to consider when you're researching. I don't have enough of these to be able to duplicate and say, hey, you know, they're always going to be that back or they're always going to be another back. So, we got, what, a bunch of commons. There's a, there's a rare. That's an uncommon. So, hold on. Maybe I did this backwards. Here, let's take the legendaries and move them out the way. So, we got an uncommon, common, 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 common. We got a rare. Um, those are bases. These are uncommons. Those are heroes. We do hit two identical ones. Uh, no duplicate uncommons. We hit one rare. And then... Yeah, it does not look to be any duplication on these. And then we had three foil ones. And then of the foils, let's see here. The rest of these are... Is there any rhyme? We got commons. We got uncommon. 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 Rare, uncommon, uncommon. So one rare regular foil. One, two, three, four, five, six uncommon regular foils. And then we got three foil uh, hyperspace cards. Looks like two commons and an uncommon. We got one foil legendary. And one hyperspace Darth Vader legendary. So it does appear that, like that says it's about 15 bucks, that says it's about $70. That's kind of crazy. Um, if, if this was the hyperspace, that'd be like 45. Um, the next ones, like, this guy is about $10 because he's foil, give or take, $4. Force Lightning is $5. At the current, again, in the moment pricing of where things might sit. So. And I don't have many other legendaries in general, I think based on the stuff that we hit um, in the other other videos I would think I only have like two legendaries outside of um, yeah, there's one maybe I did not have much high roll luck when it came to uh, Yeah. Um.
I know we hit a Boba Fett somewhere. He's somewhere around here. I'll take all these and compile it into a list because that's stuff from another opening. And that's stuff from the pre release event and opening and old deck. So. There we go. Found them. There's the other legendaries. So that's all the legendaries I think I hit. The rest of these are just cool cards, but definitely a lot of interesting duplication, at least from my aspect, right? Um, so this box here had five legendaries, one of which was foiled. That, that seems pretty good. I need to look for maybe the rarity distribution. Foil cards, one per pack. Legendary, one per eight packs. We got 24. 24 divided by eight is four. One, two, three, four, five. So that means we got a little bit better than average. Hyperspace, two in every three-ish packs. Rare hyperspace or legendary is one in 15 packs. So did we get a rare hyperspace or legendary so we got one rare hyperspace or legendary um one rare hyperspace or legendary okay so that would be technically this guy here this budin rook would be one in 15 packs he's like one in 15 um foil rare hyperspace or legendary is one in 50 packs don't think we hit a foil hyperspace or hyperspace oh it says a foil legendary so the foil legendary uh, that's different it says foil hyperspace rare slash legendary Maybe that's just a multiplier on top of it, okay? But apparently a showcase hero is one in 12 boxes. So that's pretty darn rare. All right. I mean, that kind of maybe explains some of the TCG player pricing because the most expensive cards in the set um, tend to look like they're those showcase heroes. Han Solo, Emperor, Grand Admiral Thrawn, Cassie, or Cassie Andor, um, followed very closely by Boba Fett Hyperspace, Vader, this one here, like I said, seems to be a, a chase, a chase dude, um, Millennium Falcon's up there, Hyperspace, I mean, Vader in general is $40 at the moment. Vader's popular. I am your father. That's cool. Um, there are definitely some cards we did not see. Looking at this TCG player list, there, there are definitely some cards. Didn't see Bombing Run. That looks cool as crap. I want one of those. There's a Home One. That's nice. I like that. I'm going to look at my heroes again. Did we get any borderless ones? No. I mean, we did, but they're they're over here. Which is Sabine, Jin, and Ig. Sabine, Jin, Ig. Sabine, Jin, Ig. So... That's that's it. I'm not going to... I mean, I can hang out here all you want. I can keep looking and talking and reading and trying to understand how this is working. Grand Admiral Thrawn is in here. Um, there's a little bit of confusion when it comes to the card orders here, it looks like. What is special? Special is Luke Skywalker, Spirit of the Rebellion special. Um, there must have been some... These are like convention exclusives. It looks like Dark Darth Lord of the Sith. So it looks like maybe EEP, whatever that means. Maybe it was a Gen Con exclusive. Um, I 
I don't know if that's specifically Gen Con or not. So maybe it says 30 bucks a piece on those. Um, total amount of legendaries looks like there's 36 legendaries. Now, that to me looks like there's 36, but it there must be 18 because there's a hyperspace version of these and a regular, and I'm seeing multiple. So, like, Boba Fett's on there twice, Vader's on there twice, Millennium Falcon's on there twice, Luke's on there twice. So, like, Boba Fett. Vader, Millennium Falcon, and Luke take up the top eight slots of value in the set at the moment. For better or for worse. Then next up is like, you know, Hyperspace Command. Like, if, if that legendary command here that I found, if this would have been a hyperspace variation of this card, that puts it from supposedly $2 to a $12 card. And then if it's foil, it's even higher. So there, there seems to be some variety in in choices there. I guess I'm going to, because of the rarity level of these, going to go ahead and just sleeve him up, because why not? We only got one rare showcase. Um, we got a couple of foil hyperspace cards. I keep hyperspace showcase, I don't know the right terminology. There might not be a right terminology, it just might be termed. So, all right. I am going to call it quits for right now. But that, in a nutshell, is everything. This is definitely going to be a very interesting game. Um, be real curious to see how this uh, pans out. There is an extended uh, Force Lightning. That's cool. That's pretty sweet. I like it. Definitely rate this pretty high on an experience scale. Um, don't know how much more I'm going to spend on it, but like, I'll definitely keep up with it and play a little bit. I think that this is enough to be able to build, hopefully, at least one light side and one uh, dark side deck. So, all right. If you had fun, hit the like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. You know the thing to do. Otherwise, I will see you next time. And until next time, may your games be fun and your friendships grow. Cheers.